Hi, my name is Mohammed Ibrahim Hassanin, the leader of FAO's team, which represents the Military Technical College from Cairo, Egypt. It's our pleasure to be here for the second time in UIC. 40 undergrad engineers are working hard in the team. The team is divided into three main groups, mechanical, electrical, and science. In the control system, we used an integrated system depends on National Instruments My Radio Board programmed with LabVIEW. We made two systems for control suited to all the demands of the competition. First, manually by multi-axis joystick and second follows the programmed points automatically supported by system to dodge obstacles. The communication group used a Wi-Fi network for video transmission and extant transceivers for control and telemetry. Control link will be switched to the Wi-Fi network or a reverse path will be taken in case of any failure of communication. We designed and implemented a high gain direction antenna that will track autonomously via an electronic signal as a feedback from the rover GPS or manually using a joystick to blindly control the antenna from the control station. The rover arm is designed to work in 850 cm workspace with 5 degrees of freedom. Its control system was developed using inverse kinematics. MATLAB was used to build the model for the arm. The arm had 5 degrees of freedom and then we decided to limit our third link which is the gripper link to be in two configurations. The first is to keep it horizontal and the second is to keep it vertical no matter what the angles of the previous links are. A new mode was added to control the gripper link either by joystick or through the GUI. The navigation group has developed a void navigation and guidance system using high-performance real-time embedded system to allow the control station to monitor the rover position at any target position at any instant. The task of the chemical group is to determine the capability and possibility of life existence on Mars. Several sensors were added to check the presence of organic substance in the atmosphere and the condition of the field. Therefore, there will be an on-rover analysis of soil and the rover will carry some samples for further analysis at the station.